Which brings us, for a minute or two, to the business about the Chinese inventing everything, and yet not using it the way we did. This is part of the reason, their view of life. The thing that surprises us in the West, because we use everything we can get hold of to cause change to happen, is that the Chinese had so much and changed so little. What I mean by so much is this. They had gunpowder, you saw, and look what we did with that. And then 2,000 years ago, they used to spin magnetic spoons on pictures of the earth and the sky, and depending which way the spoon pointed when it stopped, they made a political prediction. When we got hold of that in the form of the compass needle, we used it to conquer the world, to set up empires, aided in our voyages by a Chinese rudder. Chinese looms, capable of making complex patterns like that, helped to set up the great 13th century European textile industries. A thousand years before us, the Chinese had blast furnaces, steel, pistons, cranks, and this, paper. Part of the reason why, in spite of all this, change didn't come in China the way it did when all this came to the West, was this. Not printing, although they invented that too. No, this word. Tao. Tao. It means the universal way, the fundamental order of nature. The Taoist scholars were a group who looked for some rational order in things, to see how the universe worked. And because of their investigations, gave China what we would call technology. And yet, explosive change, the kind we in the West went through when we got hold of what China had invented, didn't happen here. And to explain why, I'm going to have to hit you with a bit more of inscrutable Chinese philosophy. You see, the Chinese believed that the universe was filled with Shen, a, a spirit that was in everything, and that all you could do was contemplate it. Trees, mountains, birds, rivers were all one, and so you couldn't reproduce a model of the bit of the universe and examine it because you couldn't fill it with Shen. Now, in the Christian West, we reckoned that the universe was made of rational bits and pieces by a rational God, and if you were a rational human being, you could make a model of a bit of the universe and then take it apart to see how it worked and use what you learned. The other fundamental reason why change didn't happen here in China was that, water. You see, about 5,000 years ago, the very first great civilized act of the Chinese was irrigation on a vast scale. And that needed centralized planning, and that needed a bureaucracy. And what a bureaucracy. They pigeonholed everybody, and you stayed in your pigeonhole. I mean, you were a merchant, you saw a bit of technology, and you thought, ha, this will give me a lead over the other fella, I'll rise in the world. No way. You were not permitted to rise in the world. So you didn't bother. No incentive, no change. Whereas in the medieval West, you had a little money, you got ahead. Profit motive, you know? And that is why we were able to do with technology what the Chinese could never have done. Like, for instance, putting gunpowder into one of these. Or to be more accurate, one of those. The fact that bell-making was a peaceful, religious business didn't stop 13th century Europeans from grabbing the idea. Look how easy it was to adapt. And the bell becomes a bombard. Instant artillery. 
For the princes and generals, happily, it was business as usual once more.